Okay, let's talk about solving this equation right here. That is going to be the topic of this video. Now, in uh, mathematics, uh, especially in algebra, we solve all sorts of different type of equations, and you got to be able to identify what type of equation you're dealing with in order to know what kind of tools to bring to the equation to solve it. So I want you to go ahead and put in the comment section if you know what type of equation this is. Now, I want to give you a little bit of a hint. It starts with a P. Okay, so if you know what that is, if you're thinking about, okay, it starts with a P, plug that into the comment section uh, to identify what type of equation this is. Now, also, I'd like you to tell me how many solutions does this thing have, okay? What number or how many different uh, number of solutions this particular equation has. Put that into the comment section if you know what that is. And then, you know, while you're at it, if you just want to go ahead and solve and tell me what the solutions are equal to, put that in as well. Now, this problem is not that difficult. Of course, if you don't know what to do, it's always going to be, uh, any problem is going to uh, be difficult if you don't know what to do. But I'm going to solve this problem precisely here in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can help you uh, pass your courses. Now, if you are taking an exam or a test that has math on it, so for example, the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, J, uh, GMAT, ASVAB, uh, ACCUPLACE or ALEX exam, CLEP exam, teacher certification exam, maybe a nursing school entrance exam, all those exams and many others have a dedicated math section. I can help you prepare and pass those particular exams. If you homeschool, I have a very comprehensive homeschool math uh, program. Now, uh, if you don't have math notes, what are you going to study from, right? Everybody needs math notes. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But uh, if you're not taking great math notes and you're struggling in mathematics, well, you got to start right here. Taking math notes is critical. I've been teaching math for decades. Those students who take outstanding math notes almost always do well in mathematics. And the reverse is true. Okay, those students are like, nah, I don't need to take notes. Well, I'm telling you right now, there's no way you can keep up with all this stuff that you have to learn in mathematics. So take great math notes. You'll thank me later. Okay, so here is our problem. If you want to go ahead and uh, uh, you know pause the video and solve it, go ahead and do so. I'm going to get into the solution right now. Okay, so let's go down here, and this is it. Okay, here is uh, all the work necessary to solve this particular problem. So our uh, this particular um, equation has three solutions. Okay, one of, of which is y equals a z y equals zero y equals 1, and y is equal to negative 2 thirds, three solutions. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the name now of this type of equation. So we're talking about a polynomial equation. So if you got that right, fantastic, outstanding. That's very, very good. Okay, so this is a polynomial equation. Now, why it's a polynomial equation, well, that's a whole other discussion, but um, you got to recognize this as such. Okay, okay, we're dealing with a polynomial equation. In other words, it's not like an exponential equation. It's not a logarithmic equation. It's not a rational equation or a radical equation. It's specifically a polynomial equation. Now, the great thing about this particular problem is that it's broken up in its factors. Okay, in other words, I have this thing, okay, this term, uh, being multiplied by this term by being multiplied by uh, this term. So you got one factor, this times this times this, and it's equal to zero. Now I'm going to show you here, and we're going to come back to this in a second. But if I have two things, if I have x times uh, the y and it's equal to zero, okay, if I have two different things and the answer is zero, what do I know about this or this? Okay, well, you can't get this answer. Uh, unless this is a uh, zero, because zero times y would be zero, or maybe y is equal to zero, x times zero is zero, or maybe both of these things are zero. So in this kind of situation, when you have factors and the answer is equal to zero, we set each factor equal to zero. So let me give you a, a more of a realistic problem. Uh, x plus one times x minus two. This is equal to zero. Now this also is a polynomial equation, but here is a factor and here is another factor. So this thing times this thing is zero. So one, one or both 
of these factors is a zero. So we set each factor equal to zero and we solve for the respective uh, um, variable here. So of course we're solving for x. So this is gonna be x is equal to negative one and this is x is equal to two, okay? Now this is an illustration of something called the zero product property, okay? Zero product property, so that's why when you can factor, you definitely want to factor because it's so easy to solve these things. Now, let's go back over here and take a look at this equation. If you multiplied all this together, okay, uh, this times this, and then you multiply by this, you would end up with a y cubed kind of uh, situation. So if you went that route, you know, to try to solve this, well, yeah, that's probably a normal uh, type of mistake, so don't feel so bad. But the one thing that you can recognize is that this is a third, this would be a third degree polynomial, okay? And the degree of the polynomial, the power of the polynomial, is how many solutions this uh, polynomial has. But I could just see the factors here, one, two, three factors. So that means I'm gonna have uh, three solutions, generally speaking. Uh, of course, there could be other things going on with this particular factor, but we're talking about a third degree polynomial here, okay? And of course, right here, I can see its factors, which is super easy to solve because again, I wanna take each factor and uh, set it equal to zero because this times this times this is equal to zero. I can apply the zero product property. All right, so here we have two y's equal to zero. I have y minus one is equal to zero. And here I have uh, three y plus two is equal to zero. And then I just solve for the respective uh, variables. So here I divide both sides of the equation by two y is equal to zero. Uh, here I'm just gonna put one on the other side of the equation. That's y is equal to one. And then you can see the steps here to solve for y. y is equal to negative uh, two thirds. So this is, uh, these are the three solutions to our polynomial, our third degree polynomial equation. And because it's a third degree polynomial equation, uh, it has three specific or um, three solutions that could be real and or imaginary but in this case we have three real uh, solutions to this polynomial equation now if you understand everything i'm saying here and you got all this right then i must go ahead and give you a nice happy face with an a plus 100 percent and a few uh, stars here just to make you feel extra special nice job okay now this type of problem all right the the properties of it or the characteristics of it, it's really, really important. Uh, this would be maybe be at the algebra one, algebra certainly at the algebra two level, but uh, that's why this uh, skill of factoring is so important. Okay, now here we actually have this polynomial already factored, but oftentimes you're gonna be asked to factor something and you gotta know how to factor to be successful in algebra because if you can factor, then we can apply this zero product property as I just showed you right here. Okay, so let's go and wrap up this video. Again, this is just a quick little, um, you know, pop quiz or quick pop review on polynomial equations. But just remember, when you see something equal to zero and we're talking about factors, immediately start thinking that zero product property that comes in handy uh, so much in algebra. All right, so if this little video helps you out in some small way, please go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out in a big way. And if you're new to my uh, YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. Have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced mathematics. You know, I've uh, done a lot of work over the years. Um, I'm, I'm obsessed with teaching math in a clear and understandable way. So please take advantage of my content if you like my teaching style. And hopefully you'll uh, subscribe to my channel because I'm posting new stuff all the time. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.